Hi and welcome to this uh, video about uh, the Logitech gaming, <coughs> uh, Logitech G35 gaming headsets. Sorry, uh, I just <laughs> tried to create another video. I, f I forgot to put on the sound, so I just you know kind of annoyed that it didn't work first time. Okay, um, I just wanted to tell you guys that there's actually two um, versions of the G35. I didn't know that uh, before today. Um, as you can see here, I'm on a German website and they got the old one, which packaging is like this as we recognize it from a few years ago uh, well I do I I bought the old one so and that's the one I'm using now um, and then I a couple of days ago I ordered a new one because I thought well uh, the ear cups were ripping up and it, it sucked and you, you, the sound sounded a bit terrible because the ear cups I actually thought it with it was because the uh, ear cups were ripping uh, or like broken you know the the, uh, the leather uh, was um, going off and and the sound escaped from the headset and may, made the uh, acoustics a, a very bad uh, when playing games. Uh, so I, I thought it was the headset and uh, I ordered a new one and it turns out that that was defect because when using the microphone, uh, that's when um, uh, when using it, uh, you would hear a high-pitched sound and uh, the lower casing of the left uh, ear cup and that would turn out to be very annoying. Uh, you might not n notice it um, when playing Battlefield or whatsoever because um, typically there's explosions and stuff but if you go into the G35 uh, software or Logitech gaming software whatever they call it you will be able to um, listen to a voice preview and you will definitely be able to hear uh, the pitch sound um, if your headset is defect. Uh, you basically just turn this on and turn off the microphone on your headset because then the uh, microphone will seems to be on because a program is using it and <coughs> and um, you'll be able to hear the high pitch sound. So, uh, well, it turned out that it was defect and I um, and I wanted to send it back. I contacted uh, where the place where I bought it, uh, Complete DK. Uh, they have a very great web shot and bait, uh, great um, turn in policies so they uh, they uh, gave me a new one um, didn't even have to send the uh, old one back uh, the problem is that it turns out that this one also have the problem the new one um, so yeah um, that sucks but as I figured out uh, the ear cups actually um, the ear cups actually made a big change um, so I just changed the ear cups and well the headset sounded like the other, head, the other new headset this one uh, and I had the other one <coughs> so that that's it uh, I paid 500 Danish crowns for ear cups yay and the funny thing is uh, you can't really buy a uh, replacement for this um, Logitech doesn't send out replacements for the ear cups. That, that's just weird because that would um, that would save a lot of people's lives, I guess. Because uh, instead of buying a new headset, you would be able to buy uh, the ear cups. Um, but also seen as a uh, from the Logitech side, uh, it it would be bad business because it, they would rather have you buy a new headset than giving you a replacement. So yeah. Anyway, um, I found out that people that had this problem actually bought uh, Triton replacements. Uh, no, um, so they have a couple of different replacements. Um, if I just take the earpads. I, okay, before there were actually two different types. There was a foam version and a little version. Um, oh, okay, they, they just had to click on it. Never mind. But um, I saw people uh, who had bought, I, I think it was this replacement, and five bucks for this replacement is kind of good. Uh, and ten for these. I, I, I think if uh, if I have this problem again, yeah, whether uh, that around my headset breaks uh, or ripples off, um, I will probably buy these because they look better. And people say you just have to like stretch them a bit to get them on. It might be a little bit hard, but um, you you'll be able to do it. 
Um, so yeah, that was my uh, problem, and well, it seems to be resolved now. It's just annoying that I had to pay. Well, it was on sale for five hundred uh, <coughs> Danish crowns uh, on Black Friday, and I just bought it. I just bought it, um, and um, yeah, now it's six hundred. So. Well, and some of you guys might recommend that you don't buy a uh, headset anymore, just buying a basic, um, uh, just, you know, buying the basic um, sound headset. I, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. And then buy a external microphone to get the best sound out of your computer, sound card, whatever. But uh, it seems... It, well, I just like having the whole thing in one set because you don't have to have a microphone on your desk and you don't have to have terrible sound. And, uh. Well, uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. And um, yeah, so bye.